Yo guys, what is going on? And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you such a valuable tip that's so small yet so impactful. Now, if you ever struggle with LUTs and getting them to look the best way possible, then this is the video that you need to be watching. When you slap a LUT on your video and it doesn't necessarily look good, but it doesn't necessarily look bad, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get it right in the middle with this one key feature. But before we get into this video, if you are new here, my name is Ryan Herrick. I help other editors get saucy in DaVinci Resolve. And if you guys want to speed up your workflow while editing the first link in the description is the creator bundle pre animate v2 all my products that'll help you become a better editor and faster all that stuff but without further ado we're going to hop into davinci resolve right now all right guys so in here we have some raw footage that i had shot on my sony a6700 and simply all we're going to do is just come to the color page now Obviously, you guys, if you guys are looking to make your LUTs look the best, you're gonna have to convert your footage back to normal with a color space transform node. Now, if you guys want me to go more in depth on this whole node tree, then I will do that. But for now, we're just gonna talk about how to get your LUTs to look the best. So obviously your LUTs, LUTs are stored over here in the left-hand corner. And these are the only four to five LUTs that I even actually use anyways. So I don't use any other LUTs, but you this works with any LUTs that you have imported into DaVinci Resolve, whether you made them or whether you bought them them so obviously I have all these LUTs that I love I'm just gonna go over them and see which one looks the best this one looks really good this one also looks really good this one makes it look really good I actually kind of like this one the best so I'm just gonna apply that one and now if we go here uh, by holding command F you're able to see the whole video and um, this is just my pre anime everything's blurred out in the background but in order to get the before and after with the LUT you have to hold command D so this is before and then this is after the LUT so now if you think these colors are too harsh right so like this this yellow orange type look is too harsh and you kind of want it back to that green look then you can do that so turn that LUT back on and all you're gonna simply do is go over to this key tab right here and under key output, you're gonna go to the gain and simply just turn it down. And that's all that it does. This is the main key feature to get your LUTs to look the best. So since I turned it down by 0.5, if we command F, you can see it's a lot more subtle look and it actually looks better. You know, some people will prefer that darker look with the LUT. You know, I like this, this personally, but if it's ever just too powerful, then you can simply just turn it down. And you can also go to where it barely is in your footage if you want it to be like that. So, so for example, I have a whole different look. I have this dusk look and you know, it's kind of powerful, you know, it changes the whole mood of the thing. So this is now kind of an orange, not a yellow, bright colors, you know, it's kind of looks like fall vibes, you know? And so if I want it to look less like that, I'm just gonna come to the key and go to the key output under gain and simply just turn it down. And now that dusk, is still there you can see the difference but you could still see some of this green i know this is a shorter video for today guys but i hope you were able to learn something if you guys found this informational then please drop a like and subscribe it really helps the channel out and also don't forget to check out pre v2 creator bundle all that stuff first link in the description but i will see you guys in the next video so tomorrow have a good day